Today, I'm gonna to show you five real AI agents that I've built out for different business niches so you can see the use cases for each one. And you can even take them for yourself to start your own AI agency. So hopefully this sparks some ideas and makes it a lot easier for you to get started. Now, all of these are built right inside Go High Level. And the cool thing is once these are set up, they solve a huge problem for business owners. They can take calls, book appointments, and even connect to automations to do all the follow-up. In this video, you'll see real life examples of how these fit into different types of businesses and hopefully this can help you start closing clients fast. So if you want to grab the templates for these AI agents yourself, there's a link in the description to start a free trial with Go High Level. When you sign up using that link, I'll send over my snapshot and then you can have all the AI agents available to you in your Go High Level platform. So like I said before, you can have a much quicker start than what I had in the beginning. So enough talk, let's go ahead and jump into the first example. All right, so let's go ahead and start with use case number one, which is an AI agent for restaurants. Now this AI phone agent that I'm about to show you can and take orders, make reservations, and even answer all the commonly asked questions that the business owner might get. This AI agent is perfect for restaurants that miss calls during rush hour. Now those missed calls can automatically turn into paying customers. So let's go ahead and jump into high level so you can see the build out and then I'll show you an actual real life example of it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into high level and talk about example number one, which is our AI agent, Sophie, who covers the restaurant niche. Now, if you've never been to go high level before, over here on the left side, you're gonna go ahead and click AI agents. And then up here, you're gonna go to voice AI, and then you're gonna see this agent list. When you click this agent list, you'll see all our different AI agent bots built out. And we're gonna go ahead and click into Sophie, who again, covers the restaurant niche. Now in this video, we're not gonna dive super deep into the full from scratch build out of these bots. If you wanna see that, I have other videos on my channel that cover that in depth. But we're just gonna go over the overview of the bot, how it's trained, the use case for it to hopefully spark ideas as you're starting your own AI agency. And then we're gonna go ahead and test the bot so you can get a real life example of how it sounds and how it works. So for this bot, you'll see here, um, business name is test restaurant. So when you have this template and you copy it for yourself, obviously switch that out accordingly. You can change the voice around and the initial message here as well. But let's go ahead and go into the agent goals because this is the meat and potatoes of how the bot is trained. So in here, we have a custom prompt for the restaurant niche that teaches the bot how to take orders, answer commonly asked questions, make reservations, answer questions about those reservations, whatever it might be so that when this restaurant misses a call during rush hour, they are able to turn those missed calls into paying customers, booked reservations, online orders, or I shouldn't say online orders, phone orders, or whatever else there might be. So let's go ahead and show you what happens after the call is completed. So if we scroll down here, you'll see here that this bot triggers a workflow. So when you get my snapshot or my template, you'll also have all the automations for these bots and a lot of different other automations within the snapshot as well. So this one is called, you got a new order. And essentially what this automation is doing is after the call is completed, it goes ahead and sends a notification to the users on the platform. And those users can be assigned to whoever it needs to be within the restaurant to say, hey, you got a new order. Here's the call notes, and those call notes will include the order. Or if it's a reservation, you can connect that directly to a calendar, which I'll show you exactly how to do that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and test this first AI agent so you can see exactly how it works and what it sounds like. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and have this AI agent call us so you can see exactly what it sounds like. All right, so we're receiving the call now. I'm going to go ahead and answer this. Hey, you have reached test restaurant. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I would like to place an order. Sure thing. Let me help you with that. What would you like to order? Uh, yeah, do you guys have any burgers at all? Yes, we do. We have a few burger options on the menu. Classic cheeseburger for $12.99. BBQ. Bacon burger for $13.99. Veggie burger. Plant-based for $11.99. Would you like to go with one of these? Uh, yeah, I'll do the barbecue burger. Great choice. Would you like to add anything else to your order, like fries, a drink, or maybe dessert? Um, actually, you know what? I just talked to my wife, and I think we're going to actually come in for a reservation. Can I make a reservation instead? Of course. Let's get that set up for you. 
what day and time would you like to come in and how many people will be in your party? Pretty cool, right? Hopefully you're starting to see the power of these AI agents. Now let's go ahead and jump into use case number two, which is a mechanic shop. Now this AI agent is built out to handle everything for the business owner or the mechanics or the front desk people that are on the staff. This AI agent can take down the type of car that the customer is bringing in, the problems that they're facing with the car at the time, and even book appointments directly with the customer. For the auto shops, this saves them time on the phone while they work on cars, and it helps keep their calendar full along the way. Now, why is this important? It's because if a customer calls in and their car is having problems, they probably wanna get it fixed as quickly as possible. And if a call's missed, what are they gonna do? They're probably gonna go on Google, find the next mechanic shop, and call that one, right? And see if they answer, if they can get them in even quicker than the first one that they called that didn't even answer. Missed calls equals missed opportunities. That's gonna be the theme you see throughout this whole video. So let's go ahead and jump back into high level, show you the bot, how it's built out, and then we'll show you another example. All right, let's jump back into high level and talk about use case number two, the mechanic shops. So on the left side, we're gonna go back to AI agents, voice AI, and then go back to our agent list. And then for the mechanic shop AI agent, this is Riley. So Riley, once again, is built out with a knowledge base and prompt to handle all calls when it comes to automotive shops. So we're not gonna go through this whole setup. You saw it before, but going back to agent goals, where the meat and potatoes are for this AI bot. You'll see here, we have a whole knowledge base built in here for the mechanic shops. Now with this knowledge base, when you get the snapshot, you'll be able to come in here, make tweaks accordingly, but it will give you a really good base to get started. Now down here in the prompt, this AI bot is trained to take information on what type of car they have, to take information on the type of problems that they're having. We have the whole conversation outline built out for this bot. So again, it can get done with the call and book an appointment for that customer to come in and take their car into the automotive shop to get fixed. Now, a few things that I mentioned in the last bot that I wanna show you on this one. So with the beautiful thing about High Level is it has so many different automations built in to it and it can even connect directly with calendars. So the business owner doesn't have to worry about double bookings or anything like that. Now, if you've never connected a calendar within High Level before, High Level, if we go back here, it has a really great feature on the left side. If you go to calendars and go to calendar settings up here at the top, you'll be able to create calendars for these business owners or they can connect existing calendars that they have. It's very simple to do. Once again, you can just go into new calendar right here. You can do a personal booking round robin they have different types here, but it's really self-explanatory how you build this out. You give it a custom link, uh, you give it the hours of operation for the business. And then once we come back here to the AI agents, so let me go ahead and go back into our agent Riley. You'll see here that this is now connected directly to a calendar under the agent goals. So it's really neat because as the agent is booking these appointments, it is looking for time slots on the calendar that are not double booked, right? That's probably pretty important for the business owner. And then once again, you'll see here, there is a trigger for an automated workflow to happen right after the call is completed. Once again, notifying the staff, the business owner, whoever is on the account, this is very customizable to let them know, hey, a call came in and you have a new appointment on the calendar, so get ready for it. So let's go ahead and jump into example number two so you can see exactly how this AI agent sounds like. All right, so let's go ahead and test out use case number two for the mechanic shop. Let's give our bot a call, answer it, and let's go. Hey, you have reached test mechanic shop. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I have been having issues with my, my car and I was just hoping to get it into the, the, the shop pretty soon. Got it, I can help with that. Could you tell me a bit about your car, specifically the make, model, and year, and a brief description of the issue you're experiencing? Uh, yeah, for sure. So I have a Toyota Corolla uh, 2006, and I think some transmission fluid is leaking. Thanks for sharing that. A 2006 Toyota Corolla with a possible transmission fluid leak. Got it. Let me check our available appointment slots for you real quick. Hang tight. Here are some available appointment times. Tomorrow, October 8th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., or 12 p.m. Thursday, October 9th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., or 12 p.m. Friday, October 10th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., or 12 p.m. Do any of these work for you? Um, yeah, let me go ahead and bring it in before work tomorrow, so I'll take the 8 a.m. slot tomorrow. All right. I'll reserve the 8 a.m. slot for tomorrow, October 8th, for you. To complete the booking, 
Could you please provide your email address so we can send you the confirmation details? And then we'll go ahead and end it there. So there you go for use case number two. Hopefully that paints a really good picture for mechanic shops. And as always, you can edit around, make some tweaks, changes to the bot as needed. All right, so let's keep chugging along here and talk about use case number three, which is gonna be a home services business, which is lawn care. Now this AI agent is trained to collect project details, answer commonly asked questions about services, and even book appointments for consultations. This is perfect for landscaping companies that might be out on a project and don't always have the ability to answer calls, especially for those smaller businesses where maybe the business owner is running everything and they don't have you know, a home base and a front desk agent answering the calls, right? There's a lot of home service businesses out there that are still under that model and you'd be surprised how big of a need there is. So let's go ahead and test this next bot out. All right, real quick. So let's jump back into high level for this AI agent for the lawn care services. This is gonna be our AI agent, Brooke. So once again, this is fully trained out under the agent goals, you'll be able to dive into the prompt. We have the knowledge base all loaded in here for commonly asked questions about lawn care services. And once again, you can take this, tweak it accordingly, depending on the business that you're working with. Again, as you're landing clients, every client's gonna be a little bit different, but this is gonna give you a really good baseline to get started. So let's go ahead and test out the agent. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the next use case for our lawn care AI agent. So we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a call right now. Hey, you have reached test lawn care. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I was looking to get some more information on pricing for just a, a lawn mow. Regular lawn mowing starts at around $60 per acre, and the price can vary depending on the size of your yard. If you'd like, I can help schedule a consultation to get a more specific quote for your property. Would you like to proceed with that? Uh, yeah, just to make sure. That's a free consultation, right? Yes, that's correct. We offer free quotes for all lawn and landscaping services. Would you like me to check available times for a consultation? Uh, yeah, sure, that'd be great. But first, um, I guess, do you also do edging and trimming with that lawn mow service as well? Yes, we do offer trimming services along with lawn mowing. If you'd like, I can include that in your consultation to ensure we cover all your needs. Would you like to proceed with scheduling? Uh, yeah. Um, do you have any morning slots tomorrow? Let me check for morning slots tomorrow, October 8th. Here's what's available at 8 a.m., at 10 a.m., at 12 p.m. Do any of these work for you? Uh, let's go ahead and do that 10 a.m. Got it. To book your appointment, I'll need your email address so we can send you the confirmation details. Could you please provide that? Perfect. And we'll go ahead and end that there. Now you'll notice there at the end, I just want to make a quick note. It asks for my email address to provide confirmation details. If you want to edit that around and have it do a text message to confirm those details, you absolutely can. What you'll notice in the snapshot when you get the automations, there's automations for confirmations for appointments after they are booked. So when you trigger that workflow and connect an automation to it after the call is completed, one of the automations that you can select is a confirmation text to immediately go out to that client that called in and then also reminder text leading up to that appointment all the way until an hour before the appointment takes place so that you make sure that there's good show rates with these consultations and any other type of appointment that you're booking with these AI agents. All right, and for our final two use cases, we're gonna be showing you our AI agent, Ava, that is for hair salons and other different types of beauty industries. And then also our AI agent, Lily, that is gonna be a specific example for dental offices, but you can also use it for other medical clinics or orthodontists, whatever it might be. Now for the hair salon agent, right? These salons, these barbers, whatever it might be, they're cutting hair, so sometimes it's hard to stop and answer the phone. So how amazing would it be to have an agent that can handle these inbound calls that they're getting while they're handling their clients in the shop with them during that time to once again, answer questions, book appointments, talk about hairstyles that they offer, or maybe they offer coloring options, whatever it might be, so that when they're done with that client, they can walk over and have another appointment on their calendar. And for our AI agent, Lily, that's gonna be the example for the dental office. Think about the dentist that closes on Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. You'd be surprised how many dental offices actually close that early some days during the week. When it's after hours, this AI agent is able to handle all inbound calls that are coming in, or maybe they're on lunch, or maybe the front desk staff is just busy at the time. 
they're on another call, they don't wanna put the person on hold. There's so many different use cases for this so that when these people are calling in, asking questions about cleanings, braces, whatever it might be, they can once again get their questions answered, we can gather their information and book a consultation so that no matter what the use case is, when the staff member comes back, it's not a missed call, it's another appointment on the calendar. Hey, you have reached Test Salon. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I was wanting to come in for a haircut. I was just curious, do you accept walk-ins or do you only take it by appointments? We do accept walk-ins if we have an opening, but appointments are recommended to guarantee your spot. Would you like me to check availability for you? Um, yeah, that would be great. But first, uh, I was actually thinking about bringing uh, my kid in as well with me. Do, do you offer kids haircuts as well? Yes, we do offer children's haircuts as well. Would you like me to check availability for both you and your child? Um, yeah, sure. What, what do you have over the next couple of days? Here are the available slots for the next couple of days. Tomorrow, October 8th, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 p.m. Thursday, October 9th, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 p.m. Would any of these work for you and your child? All right, so hopefully once again, you can see the use case for different niches within the beauty industry, like hair salons. Now let's go ahead and jump into the last example for the dental office. Hey, you have reached Test Dental Clinic. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I was wanting to book a consultation for just a teeth cleaning. Um, I, I was just curious, uh, do, you, do you take insurance? Great question. We do accept insurance, but the specific details depend on your provider and plan. To confirm if your insurance is accepted, one of our dental coordinators can follow up with you directly. In the meantime, let me help you get that teeth cleaning consultation scheduled. I'll check our available slots for you. One moment. Here are some available slots for a teeth cleaning. Tomorrow, October 8th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. Thursday, October 9th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. Friday, October 10th at 8 a.m., 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. Do any of these times work for you? Uh, yeah, let's let's do the 8 a.m. What I guess, what do I need to bring to the appointment? Got it, 8 a.m. works. Before I finalize that, let me answer your question. For your appointment, just bring a valid ID, your insurance card, if applicable, and any previous dental records if you have them. If you're a new patient, arriving a few minutes early to fill out paperwork is always a good idea. Now, I'll just need your email address to send you the appointment confirmation. Could you share that with me? All right, and that's it for the last example. Now, the one quick note that I wanna make on medical clinics before we finish off this part is when you're building out the knowledge base for your clients, you can actually put in the types of insurances that they offer. So you'll notice in that example, it said, hey, we'll have a specialist reach out to you to confirm we take your insurance. Well, you can completely avoid that and skip that step because your client's gonna know what insurance they take. So you can build that in the knowledge base, they'll be able to list that out and then handle that accordingly. All right, and there we have it, we made it through. And I really hope that this painted a picture of different types of use cases that you can use these AI agents to implement into different types of businesses. I hope that you feel confident to go out and start your own AI agency. This is such a powerful tool and it solves such a great problem for so many different types of businesses. So once again, if you want my snapshot to get started with the AI agents, the automations, and all my other templates that are included, there's a free trial that you can get in the description below. When you use that link, I'll go ahead and send it over to you. I've linked my free community and also my completely free course in the description below that talks about how to start an agency from A to Z. So feel free to snag that as well if it's helpful. And finally, because we give all of this content away for free, please like, leave a comment if you have any questions down below, and please subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.